Hello AACPS staff and students. Welcome to a short video tutorial on how students can get started working in WeVideo Classroom. So here we are on ClassLink and the first step is to locate your WeVideo icon and select to enter the WeVideo platform. As soon as you enter into WeVideo, you have two choices. You can join a class or get into an assignment that was given to you by your teacher by selecting on Classroom here at the top. But if you're just starting your own video project for yourself, you can also click on the smaller button underneath that says Classic and get started on your own. I'm going to go ahead and select on Classroom. Any classes that you have already joined, maybe your teacher has used WeVideo Classroom in this class before, you can select on those to enter into that existing class. Or if you are joining a brand new class, you're going to want to click on Join Class down here in the bottom right, and you'll be presented with a field to enter the code given to you by your teacher to get into this class. Once you've typed in that code, you'll want to click join. Now that I've joined my class, you'll see here a list of assignments given to me by my teacher. The first assignment, interview a friend, is a team assignment. This means I will be completing this assignment in a group. We'll talk more about that in a future video. The other two assignments are individual, which means I will be working independently. And when I'm ready to get started in either one of those, I would click on jump in. If I have an assignment that is already in process, meaning I started it previously, that blue button would say continue instead of jump in. One additional area that I have access to from inside of my teacher's class is a menu option over here on the left that says projects. When you select on projects, this is another area where you can just get started creating a video project on your own. Please be aware that I can't attach this project to an assignment or associate it with a class of my teachers. So this is truly just an area for you to make your own project. And it's, it's not what you would want to use if your teacher gave you an assignment. For that, you're going to want to stay with classes. So if you're just creating your own video, you could have selected on classic back on that first page, or you can select on projects from here inside of a class. But for assignments, we're going to go back to classes and back into our test classroom. And then I'm going to click the continue down here at the bottom to enter into the introduce myself individual assignment from my teacher. Now here we are in the project editing window. You'll see in the upper left hand corner we have a media area here. Any media that my teacher gave me as a part of this assignment would appear here, but I also have the ability to click to add my own media. I can pull media from WeVideo's stock or I can upload it from my computer and even pull it from my Google Drive or OneDrive. I'm going to go ahead and grab a piece of media here from WeVideo's stock media to use as an example. So now you'll see I have my first piece of media over here. If I select on it, it'll just play over here on the right hand side in my player field. This is great for previewing any part of my project or any piece of media that I might choose to include in my project. When I'm ready to start building my project, I would select something from my media field over here on the left and I would drag it down to the track that says video one and I drop it in there and this is where I'm building the actual project that I'm going to eventually turn into my teacher. Let's go back up to the menu options above the media area. You'll notice here that we also have the ability to add text that could be layered over top of an image or video. When I select on add text, they give me all kinds of options for what I could use. I can select on one and then choose add to put it into my media area where once again I can select it and I can preview what that entire uh, piece of media looks like over there and then when I want to use it I select it and drag it down and place it into the text option for example. Now I want to point out to you that when we previewed it in the media area up top the background was black. 
But now that I've placed it over top of my video, if I click play to preview what I'm creating here, you'll notice that that background becomes transparent, meaning we can see the pineapple that is behind that text box. So when you see that black background, know that when you layer it over top of a video, it's actually going to become transparent. Let's turn our attention back to our media area one more time. This time I'm going to click the drop down next to record and you'll see that I have the option to record an entire video or I can just record my voice. What I'm creating so far using that uh, image of the pineapple and that text box over top of it is completely silent. There's no sound involved in anything that I'm creating at this time. So recording my voice might be a way to get some narration over top of this video. So because I want to record from the beginning so that I'm narrating over top of it, I would click on from the beginning. My other option is to record from where my playhead currently is in this position. I'm going to choose from the beginning. I'm going to allow it to access my microphone. And then I'm just going to choose record. It's going to give me a little countdown here. And now I'm narrating over top of my video and text box to explain it to you in better detail. When you're done, you select on stop. I have the option to play it to preview to make sure that I'm happy with the audio. If I'm not happy with it, I have a record again button. If I've completely changed my mind, I'm not ready to record my audio, I can cancel out of this entirely. But if I like it, I can click on save. So let's preview. Perfect. I will select on save. And now I have that audio that appears up here in my media area. Once it's finished processing, which is what that blue bar indicated, I can drag that down and add it to my audio track there. So you'll see that I'm layering text over top of an image in this case, and then narrating over both of those. So Check back in the next video where we're going to see how to edit the uh, video and audio and text clips that you are adding to your project.